Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Lightford House. I told you I had a, another speedy recipe coming up for you this week. And today we're making a pizza pasta casserole. Now, I will leave a link in the description box to the original video where I saw this recipe. I got this from Jessica O'Donohue. I love watching her channel. She does mostly cooking videos, so I'll leave a link below to that video. So be sure to check out her channel. And she made this, the way she did it was she cooked her ground beef and her pasta on the stove. And then she put everything into a casserole dish and just assembled it and baked it in the oven. But today what we're going to do, we are going to boil our pasta on the stove. And then we're going to cook our ground beef right here in the speedy on the saute function. So here's what we're using. And you can really customize this, make it your own. Okay, we're going to start with, over here we've got some veggies. I'm going to cut up this little piece of onion and a green bell pepper. We're going to cook up our ground beef. I've just got a little bit of ground beef left over here in a bag. And then I'm going to use this tri-colored rotini. You could use whatever you want. She used regular rotini. But at the grocery store, the tri-color was a little bit cheaper for some reason. And this is a 12-ounce box. I've got some pizza sauce here, can of sliced black olives, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni. You could use the mini pepperoni or the regular size, doesn't matter. Some pasta sauce, because I'm going to put a little bit of this down in the bottom of the Ninja Speedy before we bake. And then some grated Parmesan cheese. So you can really customize the meat and veggies in this, guys, as well as the cheeses, pasta. Everything in this is customizable. If you don't have rotini, use elbow macaroni or whatever you want to do but anyway I'll go ahead and get started what I'm gonna do is start sauteing the meat in the speedy while cooking the pasta on the stove and before we get started be sure to click that subscribe button if you're new here and give this video a thumbs up all right guys we've got that ninja never stick pan on the stove got some water in there we're gonna boil it up all right guys we're gonna remove the crisper tray out of the speedy because we're not gonna need that I'm not going to put any oil in here or anything because it is non-stick. I'm going to put my ground beef in. I'm going to season it up with some salt, pepper, and probably some garlic powder and Italian seasoning. That sounds good. You can do whatever you want with yours as far as seasoning goes. And what we want to do, guys, is make sure that that smart switch is from rapid cooker over to the air fry stove top. And what we want to do is go down to sear and saute. I'll turn it down to four. It doesn't need to be on high because I still have to chop my veggies real quick. Hit start. We Get that meat in there and let it start going. All right, guys, and this is just some leftover meat that I had from when I was making burgers. It should be 80-20. Might still be a little bit frozen, but as you can see, the speedy starting to heat up. Just using my meat masher here, I did add some Italian salt, pepper, and garlic powder in there to season it. So we're just going to let that go, and I'm going to get my veggies chopped up real quick. Once this is done, we're going to remove the meat out to a plate and set it aside while we put this thing together. Guys, this dinner really is going to come together super quickly. And if you want to do more meat than this, of course you can probably a little bit less than a pound of ground beef here if you didn't want to cook ground beef at all you could do some ham or something like that where you wouldn't have to cook or just use the pepperoni starting to boil here you guys we're going to add this pasta in and i am going to use a full box of pasta get that in there and let that soften so it'll take a few minutes for that to cook back over here at the speedy it's looking good we are browning up so we got a little ways left to go there so just let that finish up cooking here the meat's just about cooked through completely as you can tell i added the onion in and then i used a little less than half of that green bell pepper in there so I'm just going to let those saute with the meat for just a minute. Alright guys, I used 80-20. So there's not a lot of fat down there. Had I done like a full pack of ground beef, maybe there would be. But if you had a less leaner 
pack of ground beef and you wanted to get some of that fat out without having to drain your meat and add it back in, let me show you a little trick here. Take your paper towel, swirl it around the bottom of your pan, and you can do this whenever you're frying anything in a skillet or whatever pan you want to use. That way you don't have to take your pot out and drain the meat. Swirl it around, and that's it, guys. It'll soak up the grease and you can toss this in the garbage. Nice little trick there for you, if you didn't already know that. But this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start stop button and remove the ground beef to a plate and let it set to the side. All right guys, the noodles are almost done cooking here. I've opened up my can of pizza sauce and my can of black olives and I went ahead and drained them. Again, the olives are optional as well as the bell pepper and onions. All right, guys, the noodles are done. So now we're going to go ahead and drain these and then we're ready to assemble. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how she did it, but we're going to layer in some pasta, some of the pasta sauce, a little bit of that ground beef mixture with the onion and bell pepper. I'm going to put some olives in there. Then we're going to go with some cheese and pepperoni on top and we're going to repeat the layers. All right, guys, I've got some of the noodles down over our pizza sauce. I'm gonna give this a little bit more sauce. Kind of mix that, spread that around as best as you can. And I did get the prego out just as an extra in case we needed more sauce. On top of this, I'm gonna go in with some of that ground beef mixture that I set over aside on my plate. And then we're gonna add some olives in there, cheese, then top it with pepperoni. So we'll see how that goes. And this is totally optional. I'm just making this kind of like a supreme pizza, I guess. Just want to spread these toppings out. All right, guys, that's what we're looking like so far. So we've got the mozzarella, the Parmesan cheese in there, and the pepperoni. I'm going to repeat the layers. I'm going to go in some more pizza sauce, noodles, meat mixture, cheese, and then pepperoni on top. And also, don't forget the olives. All right guys, I've added more of that pasta in, the rest of that pizza sauce, and I thought I might need some pasta sauce, which is why I got the prego out. We're gonna open that, go ahead and use some of this, because I want this to have enough sauce, and I do enjoy the taste of prego, so probably more than that pizza sauce, but anyway. Get that nice and saucy. All right, our meat mixture is coming in and it looks like I'm only gonna have enough of the pasta and meat mixture to do two layers. Now on Jessica's video, I think she did like a nine by 13 or something similar, maybe a little smaller than that. But anyway, hers looked amazing, you guys. Definitely go check that out. Link in the description box for that video and just check out her channel. She does a lot of slow cooker videos and different things like that. Easy weeknight meals, my kind of thing. So add the rest of this can of olives in here. And you could add mushrooms. You could add whatever you want in here. Um, like they didn't add onion in theirs because she doesn't like onion. You could leave that out. You could add, subtract, do whatever you want to do with this. It's totally customizable. And now I'm going to add the final layer we don't need the spoon anymore. I don't want to say the final layer. We'll see what we're going to do with this here. We're going to add that mozzarella on top. Add some parm. And I'm just using the cheap sprinkle parm. That's fine. It's convenient. Okay. And I think I might add a little more sauce in there. Maybe. Yeah, I'll probably add just a little bit more. And then put my pepperoni just a little more sauce on top. That's good enough. All right, and on top of that, we'll just add a little more mozzarella cheese there. This is definitely, hopefully gonna taste like a pizza. It's looking pretty good. And why not? I'm gonna add some more Italian seasoning in there too. Can never go wrong with Italian seasoning. 
All right, guys, the last layer of pepperoni are going on here. And then I'm not going to add any cheese on top of the pepperoni. That's going to be enough for me. But you can totally do this however you want to, guys. Put whatever kind of pizza toppings you want on here. I think that's good on the pepperoni. So that's what we're looking like, you guys. Looks like a pizza to me. All right. We're going to close the lid of our speedy. Turn it on. And I don't want to be on saute anymore. I want to go up to bake and roast. And I'm going to go, let's try 350. It's not going to take long. Let's try about eight minutes. I'll keep an eye on it because it may get done sooner than that. But everything is already pre-cooked, the meat, the noodles, everything. So all we're doing at this point is just heating it through. All right, guys, be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, we're a few minutes in. Let's take a peek. Uh-oh, our pepperoni are blowing around, guys. Hot. <laughs> Might wanna watch those pepperoni, they will fly around. It's looking pretty good, that cheese is melting already. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it at this point. So really, it only takes about five minutes because I think we're done here. It's nice and melted. I did lose some pepperoni. They flew over to the side, so next time I might wanna um, maybe add some more cheese or something on top of the pepperoni to hold them in place. But guys, let's serve some of this up and give it a taste test. All right, guys, I grabbed a spatch here and I'm going in. Hopefully this doesn't make a giant mess. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna fall apart. <laughs> of course. Cheese is nice and melty. Looks like a pizza pasta casserole to me. All right, guys, let's taste this pizza pasta casserole. That nice melty cheese there. Of course, dogs are over there playing with their bowls, making a noise. Sorry about that. All right, guys, let's give this a taste. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Definitely tastes like a pizza. It's like the best of both worlds. You get pizza and pasta. You could also put this on broil if you wanted to brown the top of it a little bit. But I just wanted to get that cheese nice and melty. Mmm. The pepper still has some crunch to it. Tastes really good, guys. Another nice speedy meal, you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know if you try this one out, guys. And check out that link in the description for Jessica's channel. And thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.